Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to try and do a new series here on my channel and it's going to be a mix of videos combined. I was just really inspired by all of the new year resolution makeup type videos where people were showing their makeup plans for 2017 and products. Oh, there's a hair flying around. Products that they are trying to use up and for the last couple of years I have been trying to just use up things in my collection so doing a lot of projects of uh, products that I want to use up and I kind of want to switch that up a little bit and rotate maybe every two weeks or monthly and do updates for you guys more regularly so that's my plan I'm sure there's gonna be kinks and things that I need to work out with every video that I do so for the first one, I am going to apply all the products that I want to use up. Some of them might be familiar to you guys. And um, probably for the next video, I won't be applying makeup, but I'll show you the things that I have taken out. And in the end of all this, well, my goal is to, is to have a makeup collection that I love and let's say for example I go, I go into my foundation drawer I pull out a foundation <laughs> oops I know that I am going to love that foundation what whichever one it is and that is my plan so let's get started the first thing I'm going to apply is a primer and this is the Clarence instant light complexion perfector and I do like this product it is so it says zero zero rose shimmer and I am almost done with this so I probably will be done by the end of the month I just you know I need something other than a brightening product for my skin I have pores right in my t-zone that are huge so I'm still looking for that primer that I that works for my skin so I feel like that did brighten and then the other primer that I want to try and use up or just figure out if I like this or not. Because every time I use it, I'm just, is it the foundation that I'm using? Is it my skin? Or is it this product? This is the NYX, I believe, Angel Veil. I took it out of the tube and put it into here because it just came out all weird and stuff. And I think one of my problems is that I use too much. So I am taking this and spreading it around because I feel like that... This needs to be warmed, warmed up by your fingers and just going in my t-zone. Yeah, my pores are insane. They're like huge. I mean, no one's going to be ever like this close to you to see, but I just, it's like when I look in the mirror, that's all I notice is my pores. And really getting it in there. I'm still, I'm feeling much better. My last couple videos, I was very sick but I think I am okay it's starting it's snowing outside it's beautiful but it's uh, more snow than I was expecting not complaining just a lot of snow and then the foundation that I have in here is in my makeup basket is the Superstay better skin and I really want to go through more of my foundations because I do have a lot of them and just see what works and what doesn't I've used this for a few days again because you know I got this a long time ago and then I just put it away and never tried it again so this is in warm nude and I'm just gonna put that all over actually I'm gonna do just this one side so you can see the coverage and things like that and this is the elf uh, sponge brush blending brush <laughs> blending oh my goodness like having a mind a brain freeze here Beauty Blender, Elf's version. And I don't think I put enough water because it's still really stiff. I'll make it work. So, as you can see, this does not give full coverage. It's probably medium to buildable, but definitely not full. Us, cause, because you can see my hyperpigmentation and everything. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'll be back. Also, what I, I, so I blended everything and what I forgot to do is put on my lip balm. And I am finishing up. So this 
this is probably something that I won't switch out until I'm done. This is the Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Lip Balm with Cocoa Butter. And I love the Burt's Bees uh, lip balms. I think they are fantastic. So I would highly recommend. And for concealer, I have a few. This is the Pixi Brightening Peach Concealer. And I just feel like this is one of those steps that is kind of unnecessary. Uh, or not unnecessary, but just an extra step that I don't always have time for. I usually save this for the weekend. Um, so I am going to put that under my eye and blend it out. And this does do a pretty good job. I mean, if you could see from one side to the other, I put, oh, I am just not with it today. I don't know, I have a headache. It's probably from sleeping too long, but I was just so tired. So you could definitely see a difference. Um, it does pretty good at correcting the darkness, but again, with the foundation and then the other concealer that I'm going to use, I just feel like sometimes I don't need to do this. Okay, and then for the other concealer that I can use for all around my face and under my eyes, this is the Revlon Age is Fine Concealer in Medium, and this is, I don't know if they make this anymore. I got this, I remember, on sale. So I love how it's so creamy, and this provides good coverage for the rest of my face. So I am going to go in with the Beauty Blender, which is, yeah, I definitely did not put enough water. This is probably out of, so I, I have Real Techniques, the original Beauty Blender, and I tried this one. And this one is probably my least favorite. It's just, it doesn't get as soft or bouncy as the other ones that I mentioned. And then let me just go in and take excess because I have noticed lately that um, things fill in under my eyes and sometimes over here too. And then for the third concealer, I want to try and use up. These are the L'Oreal True Match. And so I have one in W123 which I will use to highlight. So put it under the areas that you want to highlight. And then this one, I'm not going to use it today. You know what, I'm actually going to use put this back because this is for under my eyes and stuff. And since I already have something, don't need another thing. So I'm, this really needs the warmth of your fingers for it to work. So I'm going to go in and just start blending away. So I'll be back after I complete blending my face. Okay, so I am done with that, and the last cream product, actually, that's not true. I am going to apply my NYX HD primer. Uh, primers, I feel like, are something that I just need to use up, even though I'm not loving it. This one, in particular, I am not loving, but I don't, I have another one that I could probably use, and maybe I will switch it up, because this I thought I liked this, but I I don't think it works for my super oily lids. So I will let that dry for a second. Next is this was a sample of a cream blush. This is the Makeup Forever one and it is in the number four ten. Is there a color? No. So I'm gonna take my fingers again and just put that on my cheek area. I like to always go over a cream product with a powder anyway, but in this case, if I put on too much or something like that, I can, uh, you know, get covered up by a few products anyway. But I, ha I want to try and use this up. It's so little, but it I just always forget to use it. And then I go back in, always get extra off my eyes of the primer. And I'm gonna go in, I've been using uh, lately Bat to the Bronze Color Tattoo. It's just a great base color for, for lots of eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna do that and let that set a little bit. 
I still love these color tattoos, but I have too many. I definitely don't go through all the colors. So I'm thinking that I'll pick a color a week or two weeks and just use it and play with them. Okay. Uh, next is, oh, in regards to this, I am trying to use up all of the samples that I have of everything. I have tons of Asian samples and Sephora, you know, they give you samples. I'm doing pretty well. I try to use a couple every day or several every day just to get through them. And I've been doing really, really well in regards to little samples. Next would be powder. And the powder that I am going to finish up. This is the Clarins Shine Stopper in number 10 Beige Transparent. And I have hit pan on it, which is always so exciting when you hit pan on some, something. And I've always done really well with powder. I don't know if that means I've, I use too much. Um, but yeah, I'm doing really well with this. And this is the Equal Tools Powder Brush, which I love. And I usually just either I buff it in or stipple it in like this. And I do go over my eye a little bit there. And on days that I really am, you know, playing around with my makeup, I will set my under eye um, with a lot of, you know, uh, what do you call that? I'll bake under my eyes just because I feel like that does work. But I'm not really going anywhere right now, so I am not going to be doing that. And then for bronzer, I am using the Gemma Kid Showstopper Water Resistant Bronzer. And it's huge. This has 13 grams. I have hip pan and I'm not sure if you're able to see, but I have um, quite a dip there. And this is the e.l.f. Blending Brush, which I, this is probably my favorite uh, contour blending, uh, contour bronzer brush. So I am going to go in there. Uh, I do like this product, but I don't love it. And that's kind of where I am having trouble getting rid of decluttering makeup products is they're kind of middle of the road. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Um, and so I'm like, do I keep it? Do I not keep it? I mean, this isn't bad, but I do have lots of bronzers that I want to you know, using my collection. So I do have certain, like I've been mentioning, I do have certain products that I like to, that I like, that I want to use up, or even if I don't like them, I will use them up either or. Uh, but I kind of want to do a make, shop my stash slash make a basket. So who knows what's going to happen with me. And the blush that I am using for, uh, this round is the NARS blush in Orgasm, which is, who doesn't have this in, the, in their makeup collection? It's beautiful, and it kind of has a built-in highlighter, but I'm going to use another one. This is a brush from the, when Costco used to sell brushes by Borghese. And I do like this. I feel like it's a little overrated, but it is a beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm not trying to use this up, so I'll probably just change up. Um, I think what I'm going to, it seems like what's happening is I'm going, I want to switch up my color products a little bit more. So blushes, lipsticks, eyeshadows, and things like that. Uh, for for highlighter, I have the Josie Marin Argon Enlightenment. Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil, and it's such a it's such a pretty packaging. I got this in I think a 500 point perk um, set. So for that, I'm using things are flying around here. I'm using I where is this from? I got a brush set from Amazon that was amazing. They had lots of brushes, and I think this is one of them. But it's perfect for. Uh, underneath the eye or for highlighting and this is one of those highlighters that you you don't really see but there's something there and I kind of like that I do love highlighters that you are like oh she is highlighted up but this one is I feel like really subtle and 
um, I do like this, so I, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish that up or, or just keep on switching that out. And then for my eyes, I have the Nylon XO Mimi Box. I love this palette. It looks like this. Now, I'm really in love with the eyeshadows in the center. The blush and the highlighter are okay, and I will use them, but these are just great. Uh, these five right here are great go-to uh, one eyeshadow makeup looks and I'm gonna just mix mix these two right here so this is a little bit of bronze and this is kind of a taupe and I like to use my fingers a lot and this is just a regular eye look for me I don't uh, lately I've just been going to this and so I want to play with this a little bit more and then I'll probably switch that out but I do love that uh, that palette and then for mascara which I like to do first this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast I've been noticing I have been having a lot of transferring though towards the bottom here so I think that tells me that this is probably on its last legs and then I get to play with my uh, cosmetics uh, superhero mascara that I haven't used yet because I want to finish up this one. This is a Sony Classic Eyelash Curler. Amazing. I love it. The only thing is they don't sell the refill pads on its own so I feel like it's kind of not nice <laughs> that they do that because I don't want to buy another eyelash curler because this one works really well. So I'll see what I will have to do. Maybe they sell on the Sony Kestrick website. I never really looked. And then for eyebrows, I am using the Wet n Wild Color Icon. This is in Brunette's Do It Better. I don't really love this. I kind of want to just get through it, but this might be one of those products that I just have to declutter. This is one of the, and this is a product that I never really thought to use before because I thought my brows were pretty full. But when I look back on videos and pictures, they look kind of, um, I have eyebrows, but they just look kind of sparse. And I used the, this side, the spoolie, I forgot what it was called, and just brush it through because I don't like to have really defined brows. Okay, and then for lip products, I have two that I always keep in my work bag, so I'm going to try to finish these up. But uh, this is for during the week, but for, I was going to put it on. I don't want to apply this one. This is a Marc Jacobs that I got in a free birthday gift. It's a pretty color, but I feel like it kind of ages me. So we'll see if I finish that. And then this is the... This is the one that I am going to put on. It's the Makeup Forever one. And this is just your lips. It's just such a nice color. Wearable. And then. So I. Sorry. So for the weekends I switch up my lip color. And. That's where I like play with brighter, darker colors. Not that I couldn't wear that for work. Um, it's just that I just don't really pay that much attention to makeup when I'm, you know, during the work week. Which is kind of sad, I guess, because I have a lot that I could play with. Maybe I'll switch that up. Uh, for eyeliner, this is the Clio Kill Black Waterproof Eyeliner. And I do like this. Um, but as you know, these liquid stuff, they don't last that long. So I want to try and get through this. I'm going to apply this because this might take me a little bit and I'll be back. And then the very last step would be to use a setting spray. Right now I am going through the NYX Matte Finish uh, setting spray. And these are probably uh, another, I this is probably another product that I will just, you will see again until I use it up. My favorite still is the e.l.f. one. I just feel like for $3 you can't beat it. This one is okay, but I feel like the mist is so fine that sometimes it just dries before it gets to your face. But I do like it, and I will continue to use it. So this is my look for my makeup basket that I just shared with you. 
and here it is um so certain products i am going to leave in here till i finish it up and then other things you will see that's different um i mean i like this foundation for example i really do like it but i kind of want to just go through some of my other foundations so that might change we'll see what happens i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really just want to get down to a collection i have the alex nine drawer so it's the long one and i feel like that's a really good size for me i can i still have space in it uh not a lot of space but i still have space in it and i just feel like that's a good size for me uh and it might even be a little too much uh, uh actually uh so i kind of want to con condense my makeup collection not too much but just be at a place where i can just reach for something inside and be happy with the whatever I pull out so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video let me know what your makeup plans are for 2017 uh, and yeah I am going to say goodbye now I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon bye